I made it my solemn duty, my promise, no, on my honour, that I would have to get back into Nisekoi on America episode, and boy did I pick a good time to return to talking about some Nisekoi anime, because you know, it's been a while, and I gotta say, I have to apologise for that, I'm actually gonna do a video, maybe sometime this week to explain what's really been happening with me, but we're back on the fucking Nisekoi game, you don't stop this brother talking about some America, and I gotta say, even for someone like me, who knows that my fucking Malika sort of faithfulness in the cause has been sort of destroyed as of late, mainly because it's I've been slightly converted to the Chitoge fucking squad, but it's like, ah, oh, just episodes like this is just like, this is why I fucking love Malika, she's just a huge fucking troll, like no matter what, she wants to do anything she fucking can for Raku, and even though it just fucking box with him as well at the same time it just it's amazing so this one was split up into two sort of like marika chapters and it's like oh boy i think i remember like stopping reviewing the manga somewhere uh somewhere like around here where it was like oh god it's turned back into stupid shit again like i remember like reading this stuff and it's like oh my god how can i even fucking like look at this stuff right now but it's like it works well in an anime format. I will keep saying that about, about that. Like, the only stuff that worked well as, like, chapters, and it worked perfectly in the anime, was the whole Chitoge's Man stuff, which I was going to say, fucking loved, even though, you know, I'm not really going to be talking about that, but I'm just going to say that shit was fucking amazing, and I, <laughs> yeah, I really feel for fucking Chitoge. I'll just say that much there. But one thing I can definitely say about this one was, like, you know, Manika finding out that she's fucking shit at maths. Like, she sucks actually getting grades all together and like it was up to her like Chitoge and Raku to say like listen you gotta step your fucking out, head out of your ass you gotta pull your fucking weight and you gotta actually fucking study you like if that's one thing you don't know about Japanese the Japanese are fucking like serious when it comes to education and work these motherfuckers normally go absolute ape shit so it was like if they saw someone like fucking America they'd be like fuck this motherfucker we ain't got time for this shit but, I don't know, just seeing, like, her just going all night, just going, Ah, oh, Raku Sama, like that, and just, the ending, I don't know whether or not I call that ending a little, um, thing of her creepy or adorable. I think I want to call it adorable because it's just, like, it shows how much fucking she loves Raku, but, oh my god, like, having that fucking weird statue and just taking it to dates, it's so disturbingly creepy, and then just the whole shit, just Raku, like, even is like, Raku's like, why the fuck would you fall in love with me? And gee, I don't know, Raku, because you're the most plainest fucker in the whole universe, and I just love it, because it felt like it was more karma with the whole parrot shit going on, where it's like, oh, you're gonna have to look after my fucking parrot. Okay, what's it called? Raku, what's the fucking parrot called? Oh, it's Raku, and it's like, Oh shit, this fucking bird where it just started like setting shit up for like everyone to go down. It's like, oh shit, we fucked up. Like at this point, it's like we got some real fucking messed up shit going on here. It's like this bird like like started saying some shit. Like literally, Malika has put to this bird to say fucking like, oh no, Malika, don't touch me that way. Or like, oh, you like it that way. It's like that raccoon. It's like, oh, just so much stupid shit. And then all the girls start hearing this. It's just like, you start seeing, like, fucking Jutogo's reaction on a dead... Uh, I believe fucking Haru was in this episode as well, which I think is our first time actually getting to see her in the anime because I think it was... Her first reveal was in one of the OVAs. I know, I think it was, like, the third OVA, which I didn't get a chance to see of this, uh, yeah. Like, since I saw the first two, but I believe that was, yeah, that was Haru's first appearance in the, um, in the actual anime. So, like, because I, I don't remember at all in, like, any of the Chitoge episodes or anything, of the Paul or anything like that. But, no, honestly, this was a fun episode to come back to. Uh, really enjoyed it. I will definitely say I've noticed something since, like, I've been rereading the series of lately, and also as well, like, looking at the first episode again, this series, like, they, they haven't put as much of a budget as they did a second season, and that's kind of noble with a lot of second seasons, like, comparing to the first one, because it's like, you always put the fucking full starts when it's a new series and you go out and all that, but it's like, regardless of what, it still looks pretty, but... It's not as, like, dynamic and not as, like, good as it was in the first season. Like, you, you compare it to Tokyo Ghoul, so, like, season one looks fucking fantastic. It looks fucking gorgeous. And then season two just looks 
average at most part. And then when you get to fucking Nisekoi, Nisekoi, like, that was one thing you could always say about season one is that it's fucking looked fantastic regardless every episode every scene this one is just like it still looks good but it's i don't know if it's just the material that they're working with but they're not being dynamic as they used to be where they used to make even the smallest scenes just like look so fucking dynamic and just like cool and just fucking just loads of motion into the characters like i feel like the characters have gone more stiff and stale if you know what i mean like it's kind of really hard to describe unless you actually watch the characters flow in motion but on that is the fucking marika episode guys you know i kind of have that i mean it was bringing back the marika faith i couldn't help but fucking love this episode so yeah i'm kind of I'm still in the middle between the Chitoge and the Marika factions. I mean, fuck you, Owen Adara. That's all I'm going to say about that. And so, I mean, you're fucking cool, but you need to do more in the series. But regardless of that, yeah, it's still a fucking hard choice between me, guys. But it's like, I want to see more of my fucking waifus in there. Like, let's let's see some more waifu wars go on throughout the series. But on that, yeah, let me know in the conversation down below. But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time.